All right, vacuum stopped. So, how do I get out of here? Is the question. It's interesting. It controls a lot like nuclear throne, except the camera shifts with my cursor, which is a little disorienting. Let's see. Oh, that. Oh, there's my door. All right. Oh, one thing I haven't done is, um, there we go, now I can see the chat, not that anyone's here. I like this idea that I'm being watched through a drone or something like that. This little scurry animation going on with my with my feet, and I doesn't even have to line up with my uh, footprint. So look, I like how the footprints sort of you can tell that I'm turning around. So this is a multiplayer co-op game. I right now I'm just checking it. I don't have anyone to play with. Uh oh. Uh oh. What? Uh oh. What? Okay. <laughs> what? Was that even survivable? Do they just make that happen? Okay, good. I'm glad you can hear me more, Prince. I had my mic off for a little while, but I just, uh, just turned it on. What was that that killed me? Some kind of zombie cow? The what? Yeah, uh oh, he's right. What the? Sprinting is tough. The crap was that? Is it gone? Nope. Uh, I don't even know how to get over there. Maybe I had to go through there, but I guess not. Are still there?
I can't tell how intentional it is. That like th that seemed like I just could not win that fight, and the first one just came out of nowhere too. I've never killed anything yet. Corpse at the end of the dock. I never quite tell what I can walk through and what I can't. I can understand not being able to tell from a satellite perspective, but the guy on the ground should have a guy on the ground perspective, right? She was a little clearer. Alright. The whole thing's at a different angle now. It's like. Has the satellite been slowly drifting? Got the valve. Just collecting stuff. Who's this guy? Thinks I'm his servant. Collect all this stuff. Every time I see anything, it kills me. <laughs> oh, I love the repetition. <laughs> Why should I do anything you say? pick up something that I have bullets for. This doesn't seem like it's actually the right way to go. And I'm thirsty and I can't run. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I've got no sense that that thing can even be defeated. I wish I had more variety in these conversations. I mean, I can imagine writing a whole bunch of them. Okay, so I just picked up the same copy of the same gun. I wish I could just get the magazine out of that gun. camera being all these weird angles but I'm using a keyboard to control things and so like I can't I can only go the cardinal directions and the intermediate ones between them I mean does does a controller work can I use a controller oh you know what that's gonna be a lot simpler use a controller probably harder to aim but you know the camera's less disorienting too I'm betting the I'm betting they designed this for 
Oh, what? I'm betting they designed this for a controller, and I just didn't realize until now. I killed something. That was pretty cool. Oops. I'm trying to figure out where my map is on the controller. There's my okay. There's my inventory. Oh, hitting things. There's the nets. Where where is my map? Do I still have to hit the M button to get my map? Whoa, thermal? There's my map. Wait, I just put my weapon away. What? I just... I pushed right on the D-pad and my weapon went away. Or did I... Or was it something else? Oh! No, it was the right bumper that made my weapon go away. Alright, that's weird. Is there a reason to take my weapon... Put my weapon away and take it out again. Getting ridiculous. Yeah. I've got a grenade. How do I fire the grenade? The thing's just gonna come out every time. I just, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. That last guy had a grenade, but I didn't know how to use it. It sounds like you just like watching people die. I do like the uh, display in the bottom left. It doesn't tell you exactly how many bullets you have, it just says... Okay, what are the rules of this guy? Does he stay inside or does he go outside? I was able to scare one off earlier. But only outside, I couldn't scare it off in here. It only shows up when I pick up that thing. Seems to be able to run out of there. Well, okay, I've died closer to the entrance now. Ah, the manpower is going into this weird mission.
All right. I'm getting somewhere. I do like that this is an apocalypse that apparently is not a zombie apocalypse. Looks more like a Cthulhu apocalypse. There's nothing I can do. I'm just gonna die all the time. Is this just like because I'm playing solo? Like, is this supposed to be like? Is it tuned only for co-op? Killed something. Crazy. This feels like a almost the equivalent of a save crawl. Save crawl. Like I'm just you know going to a few steps, a few steps, a few steps. bullets. Oh. <laughs> hey Taylor, yes, this is an extremely weird game. I just die and die and die, and there's somebody like who's got a satellite who's just telling the next guy how to go get my corpse. And I mean I've been able to kill some of the tinier creatures not the big ones, and, like, I'll empty an entire magazine into them. And they'll just soak it. And I imagine, okay, maybe if I was playing in co-op, I'd be able to kill these things, except uh, we'd kill one of them, and then we'd all be out of bullets, right? Med kit? Everything kills me instantly. Why would I need a med kit? the hydro dam. Or the hydro darn, because this is a this is a kid friendly show. Supplies. What do I need supplies for? I'm gonna be dead soon. How do I even identify nearby towns? 
Everything's just gray wash. Unless I can get anti Cthulhu armor. What are these piles near me? They look like buildings. Killed one thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is just getting silly. Like, I just don't even. I'm not even invested in my own survival anymore. Like, who cares? I'm just. My death is inevitable. I like, I like this game in theory. I like the concept of this game. I'm just a little frustrated trying to figure out how to play it well. And like, whenever I pick up the stuff I'm supposed to pick up, I accidentally pick up like a gun that's out of bullets and. <sighs> hey, wagon peddler. Alright. I swear I'm at least going to make it to the hydroelectric dam. Is that guy before he randomly attacks me? Because I've proven my ability to kill those. Got a long way to go.
What are the boxes? <laughs> Take that. Yeah, you, you try to come back later. It's weird that I've got this really strong sense of perspective from above, and yet I can only see the things that my guy can see. I wonder, I mean... Are they saying these monsters are invisible until a human on the ground can see them? They're, they're like invisible to cameras? Oh, am I, am I in the wrong place? side of this. Yeah, I agree. The monsters are pretty cool. Like, like, I, like I was saying before, like I'm really happy that this is not a zombie apocalypse. We see a lot of zombie apocalypse. They've chosen a different apocalypse. It, really? Uh. And look, I mean, I've always wanted to do a game that had a, uh, a drone perspective or a satellite perspective. I think it's a really cool idea, especially if you were doing like a touchscreen game or something. Um, I don't, I'm not reading this text, so I don't know why I'm in here. I'm usually just so focused on like not having monsters appear that uh okay so I gotta cross cross the dam. Uh oh. Uh Taylor suggests that there's something uh quantum ish about the fact that these uh, monsters apparently don't exist until they're observed. Uh which, you know, I kinda like that idea. This is a rifle. I don't know if that means I have to pull the trigger multiple times to fire it. Can't hold. Oh, there we go. Sometimes I can pick things up, and sometimes I can't. Take the magazine out of that pistol. Uh, pushing A on this. There we go. Too tired to spread. Oh crap. Well, crap. <laughs> I think I went down a wrong turn. <laughs> So, Montprat, since you can't see this, I'm playing this game where you're watching everything from the perspective of like a satellite or a drone. Um, and, oh, I don't want to sprint. Ugh. Um, and there's monsters everywhere. It's some kind of monster apocalypse. And uh, whoever is in charge of, like, whoever's watching through the satellite keeps grabbing random people down below and making them do what he wants. And so they're, like, going around and, and like, trying to get this mission done. 
Uh, but they just keep getting murdered by monsters. Just again and again and again murdered by monsters. And I keep doing things like I'll pick up health, except that every time a monster even touches me, I instantly die. And so I don't know why I'm picking up health kits. They just don't seem like they have any value. Yeah, so I just went down a dead end and got my guy killed. That's definitely like a very contrived death, too, by the way. Okay, you know what? I don't think... If that monster's going to appear there every time, I'm not going to be able to get out of there. I, I, I think I'm done. I think I'm done with this game. But, uh... That sure was fascinating. <laughs> Oh, uh, wow. Might try that again later, see if it's any different the second time around. But in the meantime, um, let's, let's play something else. Uh, I'm going to quickly...